Oh shit! What the frick is that? Oh! Out of here! Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on the Tale of Two Wastelands Overhaul with the Capital Punishment Modulus. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, we're going to go, we're going to get started, uh, anyway, with checking out the, this fort that we got the key from several episodes ago when we were up in Germantown fighting the super mutants and rescuing Dr. Red. Uh, we found the key to get into this fort that we stumbled across up here. So I figured we'd pop our head in there and see what that's about. Um, and then after that, I think the plan is to start uh, working on the main quest. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, there's one of them damn robots. Those things are all over the place in there. Unless they're with Brotherhood Outcast, they are hostile. I don't think I want to waste any ammo on it. Not going to be able to get into Bisley's shack until we can unlock hard locks. Wild dog. Uh, by the way, we are in very good condition at the moment. That is sure to change. But uh, for the moment, yeah, we're doing good. I think I already looted all these. Well, okay. We'll take that stuff. I think I'm going to leave the rest. So I, my guess is this is probably another world of pain uh, point of interest and not, you know, a vanilla game. I just don't remember, so we'll find out. Okay, so we are once again uh, crawling around in a sewer environment. Guess we'll take that. Definitely take any ammunition. Uh, a trash bin, a locked trash bin. Interesting. We'll pass on that. That's a hard pass. We'll skip on the new Coca-Cola bottle for now, too. Sleepwear. How much is that worth? It's, eh, it's got a, a 7 value to weight ratio. That's not terrible. Hey, there's a door there. Looks like that's a dead end. And then there's a door here. Let's see if this door is openable. Door to Fort Detrick. Okay, so I guess this is just the entry way to Fort Detrick. Security. For any landmines or traps on the floor. That's just a clipboard. Okay, so let's just start on this end of the room and loot in clockwise fashion. Uh, we can't open that. We don't have average lock picking ability. Not yet, anyway. Eventually, we probably will. Nothing in the tool cabinet. A stealth boy. Nice. These are always good to find. A 10 millimeter submachine gun. What kind of shape is it in?
I think this is mine that I just already have, and this is what we just looted. Very good value to weight ratio. We'll definitely be keeping that. Can't open the gun cabinet. We can open this ammo box, though. Beautiful. We'll take the energy cells, the 10 millimeter rounds, the two stems. We can't open that one. I think we'll skip out on the coffee mug. Gumdrops. Good value to weight ratio on those. We'll just start calling that the VW ratio. Or VW for short. So when I say, hey, that's got a good VW, I'm not talking about a Volkswagen. I guess that's it for in here. Just a couple of containers we weren't able to open, but I don't see any notes or any other clues about anything in particular. Um, any hidden safes behind cabinets and stuff? That's what kind of stumped me last time until I finally found that that one safe. Oh, fishing battery. Where did that go? Yeah, we'll take that. All right, I think we're done in here. Let's do a quick save. And here we go. Did I just hear an explosion? That was weird. Okay. I thought I did, but I wasn't quite sure. Oh, look at the water. Yeah. Definitely want that. That's just a door. This is an easily locked door. All right, let's go left first. That goes down. All right, before we go down, let's go. Just heard of feral. That other way might just be a, an alternate way to open this door in case you can't do it. All right, you know what I want to do? Let's get the night vision on. All right, there's a feral down there. 12 gauge rounds. That must be a different one. Okay, is there anything we can ascertain while we're up here, aside from feral ghouls that need to be killed? You know, there's enough of them down there that I think a frag grenade's in order. Did we get them all? No, I don't think we got them all, but we certainly put the herd on them. That was a good, uh, good economy for our single grenade there. Okay, let's go along this walkway. I don't know if we can make the jump over there. That's a long jump. And it looks 
Yeah, I don't know how else we would get over there. I don't see any other way to get over there. You know what that means, though? It means there's some good stuff down there. We did it. Microfusion cell, electron charge pack. And a coffee mug. We risked life and limb for a coffee mug. And scrap metal, we'll take that. While we're over here. Just can't really see anything too well. Okay. <laughs> we barely made that jump. Here are those two. Let's go around this direction. Nothing to loot over here. Ashtray 10 millimeter rounds. Uh what are those? Let's take these off for a minute. Some kind of plasma looking thingies. All right, I'm going to I'm going to keep my normal light on for the moment. Oh, uh, let's go down this way. Looks like we did kill all those ghouls. It's funny that it was telling me that I crippled all their limbs and stuff when we just flat out killed them. Combat stem, yes. And yeah, we took a bunch of them out. Well executed grenade throw. Not something I do all the time. Nothing in there. Not seeing anything back over this way except for that, which we'll take. All right, let's go over here. Flamer fuel. I assume that has a good value to weight. Let's take a look. Yeah, 100. Like, really good. I am trying to be mindful of traps. This feels like a place that would be trapped. Sometimes they're not that easy to see, though.
Follow the blood trail. Oh, all right. We can't get in there because the gate requires a key. And I'm not so sure we want to get in there. That looks dangerous. Okay. Well, let's head back the other direction then. Already checked back that way. This doesn't... Yeah, that just goes back down there again. Okay. There's a security camera there. Uh, are these things, like, going to zap me? I don't know. We're going to do a quick save just in case. I don't even know what those are. Okay, I hear a ghoul. That's a dead end. There's two ghouls over there. All right, what we're going to do is put one of these down. And then we're going to Oh, shit. Oh, God. I can't believe that didn't hurt us. We must have killed both of them. Wow. That was a long fall for not getting hurt. Isn't there fall damage in this game? See two more ghouls over there. They did. What are these telephones? Look that way. Nothing in the briefcase. More goals. Plasma mine, nice. It's the first one of those I think we found. Must have gone the other direction, I guess. see two ghouls down there. Lead dealer. 
Deal 10,000 damage with guns. That's us. We're a lead dealer. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, this is a door that requires a key that we don't have. It says East Wing. Activate terminal. Okay, let's hold off on that for a moment. That's a locked door to the, also to the east wing. This just comes around to the other side. Here we got loot. Nice little collection of ammo there. Combat armor. All right, that's probably going to be... Yeah, it's got a 15 to 1 value to weight. It's in relatively decent shape. I'll hang on to it for now. That doesn't do anything. All right, let's go see what this uh, terminal does. Disengage lock. Clearance granted. Unlocking. This door or that door? This door. Okay, before we go in here, I want to actually retrace my steps and go back to that lower area that we skipped before we go any f deeper into this place, just to see where that all goes. So that's back around this way. through here and down here. It comes to a blocked off area. Hey, we leveled. Oh. This is that other side that we couldn't get to. Okay. We want to stay clear of that thing. All kinds of feral ghouls in the trash. We will stand on their head while we loot all their stuff. It's rather disgusting. But you gotta do what you gotta do. There's a glowing one in there. All right, let's go ahead and put on our anti-rad suit, which I left back at the base. <sighs> Par for the course. All right, well, only thing we can do then is take some rad X to help reduce the amount of radiation that we get. A detonator. A 
put a rat away in there. Hold breath. What's that supposed to mean? I don't think holding your breath in an irradiated zone is going to do a damn bit of good. Oh! Okay. Whatever that was, landmine, I think, it crashed the game. <laughs> so I'll see you guys back over here again. Damage him. All right, guys, we're back here. Um, let's take our uh, Radex pill. Now, there must must have been a mine. I, I don't. I don't even see a mine in there. If that's even what blew us up, I don't know. I walked, like, right about there, and that's when I exploded. So let's go back over here again. Grab that stuff. Grab all of that. It's got to be underneath that cart, I would think. All right, can we get to... Oh! All right, that that didn't even hurt me. <laughs> I, whatever that is, I don't know what it is though. Makes me afraid to move in here at all. Okay, let's move forward and. Activate deluxe chemistry step. There appears to be enough chemical components available to create a small quantity of chems, assuming I have the knowledge to do such a thing. Science of 25 or greater is required. I do not have that much science. There's a fat mine. Glowing experiment. Okay, we'll read that. Um, there's a fission battery. I am aware that we're... Taking radiation damage in here, but I want to thoroughly investigate the place. I mean, I am not seeing anything on the floor. Don't see anything hanging from the ceiling. No tripwires, no mines, no nothing. So I don't know. We were very fortunate, though, that... We weren't hurt by that explosion. A mini nuke. There's no radiation over in this corner. All right, let's get out of here. And uh, see what this has to say. I'm going to fucking figure this shit out or damn well going to die trying. These glowing ferals are tough bastards and by God I'm going to glow like the fucking sun. I still remember the day the bombs fell like it was yesterday and I will glow with that radiant glory. But I ain't going to lose my mind like the ferals did. I'm sick of standing around next to radioactive barrels waiting for bullet holes to heal. I want that radiation coming from me. Overcharging microfusion cells and detonating them may have burned my hands and face and scalded my flesh like boiling acid, but I've been healing faster ever since that test, so the next step is to try out one of these mini nukes I've found. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think that went too well for him. Okay. So I believe we're finished in this section of Fort Detrick. Let's head on back up and go into the east wing, I think it said it was. I'm encumbered already, for Pete's sake. All right. What I'm going to do then is... I'm going to drop a, f a couple things off near the entrance, and then I can pick them up and haul them back later. Yeah, we'll just drop them off in this corner. It should all be there when we get back. <laughs> okay, that lightened us up quite a bit. 
I don't remember seeing a bed anywhere. It'd be kind of nice to level up. I guess I could just haul that stuff back now and then go level up and meet you guys back here. Maybe I'll do that. We're not that far away from the base. Yeah, okay, I'm going to haul all this stuff back and I'll meet you guys. Uh, well, actually, I'll meet you at the base. Um, and we'll level and then we'll come back here. Alright guys, we're back at the base. I got all my stuff put away. Let's go ahead and sleep. Um, let's sleep till 8 o'clock. Five hours. Because I don't need a whole lot of sleep. Okay. I want to get repair up to at least 55 because I need to be 55 to make Armor piercing 308 rounds. And I need to get to 50 to make weapon repair kits. So I think um got lockpick at 25. Yeah, I think we're gonna fast track that to 55. Okay, good. And then now it's time for a perk. <clears throat> okay, I gotta look through these again. And uh, see which one I want here. Okay, so there's a few here I'm interested in. Uh, strong back just plain gives me 50 more pounds of carry weight. We can only take that once. Um, sneering Imperialist allows us to do 15% more damage against raiders, junkies, and tribals. Um, and a bonus to hit in vats, even though I don't use vats. <clears throat> Toughness has two ranks. Plus three to damage threshold each time you take it. Um, the other ones I was looking at, just so you guys know, is Swift Learner. The thing about Swift Learner, though, is it's kind of a wasted point in the long run. So I'm kind of maybe going to hold off on that. Um, and then... There is intense training would allow us just to put another point into um, our attributes if we wanted to. And then there's also balanced load. So balanced load just gives me 10% carry weight. So I don't know if... Okay, so in order for me to get 50 pounds of carry weight, I'd have to be able to already carry 500 pounds to get 10% of that, which I definitely don't. So I think I'm going to go with strong back because more loot, right? That's what we're going to do. And then we'll, we'll, we'll be looking at those other ones. And then as other things open up to, you know, we'll, we'll compare. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Strong back. It is. Uh, what did I just get? I, have the, I got the Protector Reach level 8 with good karma. Look at me and my bad self. Yeah, so we, we only have a, a total of 325 carry weight, so the 10% the would just give us 32 more pounds. Well, and we just added 50 to that too, so it's actually only 275, which means that take strong back first and then later take balanced load, so you get 10% of another 50 pounds, if that makes sense. So, yeah, we definitely played that one correctly. All right, I have um, a little bit of radiation, nothing too bad, and we're just slightly injured. We're a little hungry, a little thirsty. 
Uh, what do I have in here in the way of food that will also give us hit points? So cooked bloat fly meat will give five hit points. Rad roach gives seven hit points. Uh, so those are really the only two things. We'll get 10 rads with this and three rads with this. So we get less radiation with the bloat fly meat. And, you know, if you guys didn't know this, bloat fly is actually delicious. Absolutely, 100%, nowhere to lie, delicious. And if you buy that, I have some oceanfront property for sale for all of you in Colo in Colorado, where I live, in real life. Okay, anyway, uh, let's see. We'll go to aid. Let's eat that, eat that, eat that. Okay, and then we will go to drinks, and we'll have two purified water. don't think I'll drink a third purified water for now. Because that got us close enough. All right, what am I doing? Go back to aid. We'll put this other, other the other two purifieds in there. And so is our health going up a little bit? Yeah, it is. Uh, we can also help that along with, well, actually, let's just see how high up it gets. And I can also, I got a couple of expired stim packs that I can use too, if, if we need to. Uh, how much rat away do I have? I have two. Let's just take both of those right now. No, not a rat X, damn it. That'll reduce our radiation by a couple of ticks. I don't think I have any more. Oh, I do have two more rat aways in here. Okay. I mostly rely upon the doctor to get rid of that when I have a lot of it, but if we just have a small amount, we might as well fix ourselves as much as we can. That's not going to take it all away, but we're down to now just two bars. A one bar. Okay, good. So, fantastic. All right. Now let's just pop a couple stim packs and maybe an antiseptic to help that along, and that should top our, our health all the way off. Our radiation now is... Oh, it's already down to zero. Why do we still have a red bar there, then? on my meter in the lower left-hand corner. Let's take another expired stim pack. Maybe two more. Shouldn't that red bar be gone? Oh. Hey, it's gone now. That's weird. Because we have zero radiation. We don't have any ill effects either. Our limbs are in pretty good shape. Our legs legs and one of our arms is slightly damaged, but not enough to worry about. All right, I will meet you guys back at the fort, and we will proceed where we left off. Actually, change of plans. Let's go see Moira really quick and turn in that quest so I can get rid of this mole stick. as I believe I will show you when I edit this video later. I was able to kill two more mole rats on the way back here after killing a robot and also being attacked by a super muty. Doc Hoff. Here to see the good doctor? Uh, what is your repair Bro. level? It's, oh shit. He's got, he's got really good repair level. Really? Has that gone up? Oh my gosh. Um... Let's spend 106 caps and have him repair everything. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what the good doctor has in his magic bag. He has 355 caps. I don't really... I don't think I have anything I actually want to sell, though. Because I already sold everything to the caravan vendor in the, in the base there. He's got a steamed mire lurk. I'll buy that from him for one coin. Another satisfied customer. 
See you next time. All right, we got to remember this guy's got some serious repair skill. Oh, hey, look, Lucky's here too. Here to shop. What's your repair skill? I'll see. You. 79. I think these guys' repair skill has been going up because. I don't remember them being that high, so they must be learning too as they go along. Um, you know we have we have very little trouble coming across caps, so let's just have him repair us too, and then we're really in good shape. It's it's my pleasure to offer hot death. Hot a death. Of exciting flavors. Take your pick. Okay, we're down to 109 caps. Um. Assault rifle drums increases ammunition capacity. Grenade rifle, laser, plasma. Yeah, none of that stuff is stuff that I that I need. So okay. Thanks for the repairs, man. Until we Good to see you. Good to see you too. Welcome. It's always nice to find a polite person in the wasteland. Let's turn this quest in for Moira. That way we can get rid of the stick and get over whatever reward she's going to give us and some XP. It's a win-win situation. Oh, I had a couple dirty waters I should have brought over here because I think I had to repay him for another week and I think we're still in that week. Oh, I can't wait to hear how the repellent's working. I tested the mole rat repellent extensively. Oh, excellent. Substantial field testing, precise reports, and such dedication. Oh, what more could I ask for in a research assistant? I know. <laughs> so, how did my chemical repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I'll bet. It seemed to dissuade them for maybe two seconds, and then they attacked me again. It's like explosive whack-a-mole rat. Can can I get it in bullet form or people? <laughs> um, it, it's definitely fatal to them. Yes, unfortunately. Oh, that's that's really a shame. Poor little mole ratties. Uh, mole ratties? You do understand that mole ratties will eat you if you give them the chance. I don't think they're poor, and they're not little either. With that much testing. I guess it's beyond correction. Go ahead and keep it. <laughs> Maybe you can find a nicer use for it, right? No, I don't want it. I want you to take it back and pay me. Oh, but for your trouble. Uh, oh, here. Have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. I'm sure you can find some use for them. Chems? Really? I want bullets. Rebound. Turbo. That's it? Really? Moira. All right. What do you want? What There's else you want? We don't know about Myrlurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. I don't particularly want to take Myrlurks on. They're bastards to kill. I hesitate to ask, but I'll need to examine the effects of serious physical trauma. I wouldn't ask if I couldn't fix you up afterwards, of course. Oh, jeez. She wants us to get really hurt and then come back. Okay. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? Um... I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna hate myself for this, but what do you mean about handling injury? Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured, not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. Yeah, right. Shame on them for doing that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. Yep. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Okay. Next time you get badly injured, return here. So I can examine you before I heal you up. I'll keep that in mind. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? That's a damn good point. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll get hurt eventually. Might as well come here when I do. Wow, <coughs> what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. Yeah. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two, and I'll take notes and fix you up. It won't take long at all for I'm that to happen. I'm waiting here with plenty of bandages for you, so don't worry.
scary. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. And be careful, right? <laughs> okay. Um, got any info on an Android mind wipe? Here's a hundred cap research fee. Yeah, we're kind of low on caps temporarily. Does her repair you skill go you. up too? I don't know. Okay, we'll have to remember Moira's 44 and we'll check it again later. She can't repair anything I have right now anyway, so. Let's just take a look and see what she has for sale, even though I have no, don't have much money. I am going to buy these armor piercing rounds because I used those up. Now, I didn't use them up, but I used a few more than I wanted to killing that super mutant last night. Um, I'll take the 556 five, armor piercing and does she have a weapon repair kit she us usually does have one but doesn't look like she does this time okay don't hurt yourself i thought you wanted me to re hurt myself Good luck with that research. <laughs> okay, I will meet you guys back at Fort Detrick. All right, guys, we're ready to go into the east wing here. Let's get our weapon out and head on in and see what happens. We already have a caution. Okay, it's pretty dark in here, so let's put these on. Turn this off. And that on. You did? Oh, shit. What the frick is that? Oh, out of here. Oh, no, not good. Not good. Not good, not good, not good. Holy shit. Oh. I wonder if that's that guy. <laughs> I, don't, I can't get away from him. Fuck. Ah. Okay, well, here. Uh, I don't think we're gonna. He is so goddamn fast. <sighs> okay, um. Solvatol. Buff out. Hemostatic. Medex. <laughs> we're gonna be so fucking addicted here. Uh, let's see, Psycho does more damage. Okay, and then let's, um, Antiseptic and Combat Ultra Stim, too. Come on, load. <laughs> Look at all the dregs he has on him. Oh my god. Okay, well, we just got all our drugs back. <laughs> um. Ow? Okay, we're, I mean, we're almost ready to go back and see Moira, but we need to have a, we need to have a crippled limb. Uh, are any of my legs crippled? We could probably just jump off a cliff. Not so much. Oh my god, I can't believe we survived that. Um... We have ghoul rot. I like ghoul rot. Not. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, I think what we need to do is... 
go to um what am i doing i'm trying to think here i'm i'm like scatterbrained right at the moment uh, let's go to aid let's do an antiseptic we did the stem but i think we need to uh, stop splitting one health for 30 seconds yeah because when those drugs wear off um we might it might kill us if we don't if we're not already starting to heal Okay, well, yeah, we met the first part of Moira's quest. Oh, man, that was scary. Okay. I hope the, we don't run into any more of those things. There's more, more of them. Um, that weighs one pound. It's not a very good VW. No tools in the tool cabinet. I wonder if that was that guy that we read about, you know? Um, take all of that. Is that one of those? Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Take the scrap metal. Actually, a whetstone, that's just junk. That's not a crafting item. Terrible VW. Take all that for now. Submachine gun. Plasma pistol. I think that's the first time we've come across one of those. Oh, nice. A weapon repair kit. Why are we taking radiate? Oh, shit. We're almost dead. <laughs> I just realized we have like one hit point. Oh, okay. It's because all our drugs wore off. Let's do, um... This gives us 50 HP. Yeah, let's take one of those. Um, and... An antiseptic and a bandage. Yeah, all of our drugs are wearing off now. Another weapon repair kit. Nice. An assault rifle. Okay, we'll take that. Sometimes it's hard to see some of this stuff. Turpentine. Broken audio disc. Okay. Don't think we probably want that. Oh, it's got a good VW. Sure. There's a bad bad in there. Here, let's do this. Where'd they go? Did I take damage from that? Because my hit points are way down again. Man, I can't get those things back up. Don't be making any jokes about that's what she said. Let's take that and... A normal stem back. Okay. Okay. 
squirrely motherfucker. Uh, that's probably not a good VW, but we'll look at it. That's definitely not a good VW. Oh, recon armor. We gotta look at that. Thirty-two rounds. Take the smokes. More combat armor. Immuno boosters. Oh, nice. You know what that means? That means we can get rid of the ghoul rot. <clears throat> Very good. Okay. Bobby Pence. All right, let's take a look at um, this recon armor. While not wearing power armor, Sneak plus five. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's got a terrible VW, but it is kind of a specialty piece that we could fix up later. Yeah, we'll hang on to that stuff for now. Okay, so the 32 pistol, halfway decent VW. Halfway decent VW. Assault rifle, terrible VW. We're dropping that. Plasma pistol. I'm going to keep it just because I don't have another one, even though the VW is not so great. Okay, and once again, we are not... Let's take a bandage, an antiseptic... An expired stem pack and a normal stem pack. Got to get that health back up. Let's do a quick save here, too. See, the, one of the problems with that irradiated bastard is I couldn't get away from him. I mean, he would have chased me all the way down out into the wasteland, you know. Can't really see inside of there. Doors inaccessible. Oh, shit. That can't be good. Let's take these off for a second. All right, I only see a normal feral in there. Let's pop one of these. See, the problem with all this radiation that we have is it's actually fixing our limbs, which isn't going to help us with the Moira quest. Look at all those ammo boxes. Oh my goodness. Look at this ammo, you guys. Well. There isn't huge quantities of it. But still. I don't want dandy boy apples. And we can't get into that average locked one.
Take another broken audio disc. That radiation's making me nervous because it might mean another glowing one. And it's really hurting us too. But hey, our limbs are in good shape, which we don't actually want for once. Yeah, look at that. Perfect limbs. <laughs> We're really thirsty and we are seriously radiated. All right, let's do a quick save here. Well, that's what's causing all the radiation, that spill there. We might need to leave and come back with our radiation suit. Oh, wow. Okay. Lots more ammo boxes. I mean, this is supposed to be a military facility, I guess. But I got to get out of here because this radiation is literally killing me. Oh. Well, that was worth opening. We need to get some lock picking points from it, I guess. Okay, yeah, we gotta go. He says as he keeps going. All right. Is there uh, anything else quick? Yeah, 10 millimeter rounds. All right, we gotta get out of here. We looked at all those, right? Oh my god, look at our... We are in such bad shape. Okay. <coughs> well, <coughs> we need to go get fixed up. We, and then we'll have to come back with our radiation suit. And I think I have a helmet that also reduces radiation too. So, yeah, let's do that. I'm just really concerned about running into another one of those glowing fuckers, but I have a a bad feeling like we are going to run into another one. But if we're... If we have a lot of radiation protection, then presumably we can kill him. All right, guys, we are back. We're underground in a bunker, and it's raining. <laughs> At least we can hear the rain. Uh, so, I got all fixed up. Spent most of my coin... Because I didn't really have a whole lot to sell when we went back. But this time I brought my radiation suit and this uh, Raider Wasteland helmet. Which gives us um, a total of 50 rad resistance. Plus, if we take one of these, we now have 82 rad resistance. Okay, so we should be in good shape when it comes to radiation. Let's make sure all of our weapons are... Oh, I, I haven't even actually used that yet. <laughs> um, make sure all of our weapons are loaded. We don't have a whole lot of 45 rounds left. So we'll have to probably switch to our 10 millimeter when we run out of those. Those are pulse... Slugs. Wait a second. Yeah, those are pulse slugs. Only have two. Not likely we'll be using the sniper rifle in here, but we'll get it loaded anyways. Okay, let's go. So this was the room, no, we had gone around the corner here. How did I leave that stuff there? That's weird. I thought for sure I checked that, but I guess not. I think we got everything out of here. Pretty sure, because, uh, didn't get those. 
we still seem to be taking a shit ton of radiation, even with all this resistance. All right, well, let's just go then. Okay. Uh... Oh, no. Hard lock. Oh, that sucks. Did I miss anything else in here? Like a switch or a terminal to open that? I don't think so. Okay, well, I guess we're... I guess we're done here then, uh, until we can pick hard locks or figure out some other way to get in there. Just looking one more time to see if I missed anything in here. Like a key card maybe, I guess we'll loot that. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess that's the end of our adventure with Fort Detrick for now. We'll probably eventually be able to, you know, do hard locks. Or maybe we, maybe we'll come across a a key card or something for that. I'm just looking. You know, taking one last little sweep in here. All right, guys. Well, I didn't find anything else. A couple more. I looted a couple more things that I missed, but nothing significant. And uh, so I'm going to head back home and regroup here. And I think what we'll do in the next episode is we'll get to the business of trying to find our father. Might as well loot that stuff. Scary mofo, man. So I think we'll go ahead and wrap up the episode here as well. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did... Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.